Willie D. Live. But you know, you, you, you talked about your kids. How old are your kids? 29, 18, 15, and 10. Yeah. So you have, you wake up with that obligation. You already said that you have an obligation to them and you want to do things for them, you know, now. So it ain't really about you at this moment. You are a conduit, right? Right. It's not about you. I use this body every day to go get it for, for, for Kane and Blake. Those are my kids. I get up and go do it when I don't want to sometimes. Hop on that plane, go to L.A., go do what I got to do, and I come back, and I do that for them. It's my legacy. They are my legacy. I'm responsible for my legacy. And when they turn 18, the money don't stop, the support don't stop. You're not on your own. No, we're in this together forever. So that's my legacy. I'm not going to let my legacy just go to shits. Exactly. I, I, I feel too strongly about it. And I know a lot of parents who, who would just let that happen, but I'm not letting it happen. Word. And it, it's, so it's within my power to, to change the trajectory of you know, my family fortunes. And I got it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm doing it, and I'm putting other things in place so that we can make sure that we maintain generational wealth long after they're gone. Right. Some people say, well, you know, as uh, long as I'm good, my kid's good, we straight. No. I would feel very embarrassed if a few generations from now, m- people, my own bloodline, don't even know who the hell I am. Mm. They don't even know Willie Dean. And they have to, somebody have to, some stranger have to tell them who I am or something. Yeah. You know? And I would feel very embarrassed if. My bloodline, my direct bloodline is, you know, broke and back to where I started at in the ghetto in 1966. Mm. I would be very embarrassed. So I, so I got the power to do something about that. And so do you. You know, you have the power. You know, you have, you have the talent. You have the, you have the skill set. You have the resources. You know, it's people that it's, it's so many people out there that it, it, you know that 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 has the information, if you don't have it, that'll that'll work with you because of who you are, you know, and because of what you have done for them. There's so many people that, like that woman that you was talking about, who said that she was thinking about killing herself, but she listened to your music and mm-hmm. she didn't do it. People are grateful for that music, and there are people that will help you, who has those skill sets that will help you turn everything around and put everything on track. But you got to have that structure. Yeah. That structure has to be there. If you don't have that structure, then you're just basically uh, hoping and praying that things just work out. Yeah. And that ain't how life works. It ain't going to just magically work out. No. It's the structure. And you got, you got, you're going to need that. And if you don't have people, I know people. I got people. I turn you on to some of my people, man. I mean, they, he, starting with my, starting with my, my 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 financial advisor, you know, Will Roundtree, he's out in Vegas, helped me get my credit together. You know, that's a simple thing, but boy, yeah. just getting that credit together, it it opens doors. It's like you got a hundred thousand dollars, and I got a eight hundred credit score. Mm-hmm. Guess what? I'm gonna leverage that eight hundred credit score a lot. Better than you gonna leverage that hundred thousand. Some people don't can't even understand. They be like, oh no, you crazy man. Hundred thousand man, that's cash man. Cash is king. Credit is king. Yeah. Credit is king. Never. I never and I always thought cra- cash was king. I was like, man, I don't need no damn credit. I ain't worried about no credit. Yeah. Here I am instead of sp- instead of paying, you know, five uh, percent for uh, a car note. You know, five percent interest. I'm paying eighteen percent. Right, big. That's money. Yeah, that's that's money in between those numbers. Yeah, you know, instead of paying, you know, uh, instead of paying, you know, eight uh, percent, you know, for a home where well, you can get lower rates now, a lot lower rates now. But instead of paying eight percent, I'm way up here in twenty two percent. Yeah, crazy man. Yeah, I mean, you can't you can't buy a, a burger in the airport with a cash no more. Right. Paperless. <laughs> Everything paperless. Yeah. Well, you that's can't what... check in a hotel without a credit card. 
Impossible. That's, that's where we are now, man. A lot, a lot of people don't don't realize, but we are in the digital age. We are yeah. in a we we are in a space where it's time that digital currency is going to be mass adopted right before your eyes. Yeah. It's happening Cash right now. Obsolete. Paper's gonna be obsolete. Yeah, it's happening right now. But man, you got so you got so many ways to get it, bro. You got yeah. so many ways to get to, to get back out there and, and make it pop. Yeah. But I, I would start start with what you're doing right now. Start with yourself. They'll come. They'll come. Like man, what you what you did. I don't know if like I don't think that you. Well, I know for a fact that you don't get enough credit for what you did. You held it down for a few years. You know, as far as that new guy came in and gave hip hop that energy we need to keep going. Unconscious. You know, some more free fuel. You put fuel in the fire, you know? Yeah. We need we need artists like that, even today. We need those new artists who can bring something new to the table, bring some new energy into the table. Right now, I, I don't know Thank if we you. have Thank you. I appreciate that call, brother. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if we have that right now, but I know we need that. We need those new artists who can come in and and bring an angle because that's what you did you brought an angle in right you know bring that angle so you got Kendrick your Lamar did it right Kendrick Lamar did it J. Cole, J. Cole did, did it. it yeah you know J. Cole did it Cardi B did it Cardi B did it yeah she did it you know Megan did you know? it Megan did it yeah I know what you're the saying the girls that's did why it. I was giving it's an angle we seen saying the same thing yeah it's bringing those, it's bringing that, that, that angle you know Migos did it you know yeah yeah, R.I.P. Take Off. Oh, yeah, 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 that was crazy. 